So a friend asked me, hey, what, why are you using ChatGPT Pro? There is a free version of ChatGPT. And I think that's a very good question. You see, ChatGPT Pro has three major benefits that help me in my work. Now, especially when you're creating content, when you're creating blog posts, video sales scripts, and a lot of other stuff with GPT, it's going to be really beneficial when you're using the Pro version. And these are the three reasons that I use it for. Now, if you're using just ChatGPT, the free version, then you're not getting uh, enough, so to speak, memory. It's, it's, it's kind of like you're adding an article into it. You add another article and when you added the second or third article or third chunk of text, it already forgot what it initially wrote. But with ChatGPT4, you can add so much more text, so much more data. Remember all the conversation. And this is very important when you're working on a long sales video, on a long blog post. Uh, let me give you an example. So here I made a very long sales script for uh, our AI membership and our AI club. And as you can see, this is a long script. I added a lot of information. It had to rewrite a lot of stuff. Now, if I would do the same in ChatGPT, the free version of ChatGPT, then after I add two or three messages, it already forgot what I've initially uh, wrote in. Basically, you get a smarter, much smarter ChatGPT with the paid version uh, that has a longer memory and that you can uh, work better with. Reason number two why I recommend ChatGPT Pro, the paid version. If I want to know, let's say, what's happening today, I want the latest news, if I want the best performing stocks, ChatGPT, the free version, will not give it that information to me because ChatGPT was trained on information that was available on 2021. Now, everything that is newer than 2021, ChatGPT has no idea about. So, with the introduction of ChatGPT4, the, the paid version, you get something called uh, web browsing. And I'm, I will show you how that works, but let me show you first the result. So I asked it, tell me the top 10 best performing stocks of today. And what it does, it, it starts browsing the internet, it clicks on links in the background, and then it finds you that information. And mind you, this is, these are the top nine actually best performing stocks of today. And that's quite interesting because this gives ChatGPT a lot more power. You're going to be able to use it for a lot more things. And to enable this, let me quickly show you because if uh, you're, even if you're on the ChatGPT, the paid version, so on the GPT-4, uh, by default you don't have web access. So to get web access, you first need to go to your profile, go to settings, and click on beta features. And here you get something called browse with Bing. And you need to enable this, boom. Just click here on enable this switch, close the window. And now if you hover over the ChatGPT4 button, you'll find three things. One, default, two, browse with Bing. And this is what we're gonna select. So we're gonna go back again just to check. As you can see this blue check mark here, it selected browse with Bing. And now if I type in, it will go ahead and browse the web. As you see, it's browsing the web right now. And it will find this information for me. Good. Now you're probably wondering, okay, this is pretty nice. But what's my third favorite option uh, of ChatGPT Plus? Well, the third one is also a very new feature. As you can see now, it's adding in the stuff. The, the for that, I'm going to show you this in a new brow, new chat. I'm going to go here, chat GPT, and you get something called plugins. Now, to get plugins, again, you need to go to your profile, click on settings, and click on beta features, and just enable plugins. Cool. Now, what do plugins do? Now, let me show you. If you go to plugins, you click on plugins, and now it says no plugins enabled. No problem. We're going to click on it. You're going to click on the plugin store button. So here you see the plugins that are, first of all, the most popular. So you've got something like Vox Script. This, this takes YouTube video 
links and it creates transcripts for it. It's pretty cool. But let me show you one that's even better. It's called Zapier. Now, Zapier is an app that is kind of like the glue of the internet. You can imagine it so that it connects, it makes websites talk between each other. So what does that mean? It means that you could have a website and you could connect it through Zapier with ChatGPT and with it, you could create your own AI chat bot or your own AI app, okay? So this would be really cool because with this function, you can already create your own basic chat GPT based app. And you don't need to say that it's chat GPT based. You, have, you can have your own AI app, which is crazy, which is really awesome, okay? So I'm not going to go into the details of this. This is for a different video, but I just want to let you know that with this added feature, your, your possibilities just expanded exponentially. Okay, so you can install Zapier and with Zapier you'll be able to connect uh, ChatGPT even to your own website. Good, let's close this down. Now, an, a, a bonus a number three or a bonus feature of ChatGPT Plus is that I heard you're going to get less crashes. So basically, in my case, I don't remember any time I had a crash on ChatGPT Plus, but I do know that I, I do remember at the beginning when ChatGPT uh, the free version came out, it crashed quite a lot. Now, I don't know how this changed, but I do know that uh, they give you better uptime on ChatGPT+. Okay, now, if you're interested in other tools, if you want to know what are the top AI tools out there that not just that create uh, videos, that, that animate stuff, that create music, that uh, create images and so on, uh, you can check out the link in the description. I have selected the top 300 AI tools that I like, that I use, and you can check that out and just save a bunch of time and become super creative with the power of AI. Now, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one, in the next video in a couple of seconds. Bye-bye.